Uh, talking about Willis. Uh, talking about uh, Willis. Uh, yeah, uh, so. Uh, yeah, man. It's uh, been a minute. I, uh, just love doing what I do. Yeah. It's crazy. So, basically, yeah, even where, if you kind of look at where the carving actually either began or end when I ran it through the play doh, mm. you see where it kind of sticks up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Some of that actually is a little believable to kind of like have its groove because if you look at these guys' tails, mm -hmm. everything is not smooth and patted down. You can still see where there's carving. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? So, what I kind of want to do is like leave some of that in a sense. Wow. Yeah. Kind of like uh, go around it and see. So it's kind of like maybe you can smooth it out. Not so much. Yeah. <laughs> hey. It's going to handle. Well, there's a wheel, there's a way. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just wait until I get into some of that. Or mm -hmm. sleep stuff like that. Yeah. It's gonna be cool. Yeah, it could be good. Uh, I think about this, man. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm making this basically the tail and the format and basically using the methods I'm using. It's real delicate, as you can see. It's gonna be, you know, it's Play Doh. Oh, sitting yeah. up in, you know, basically covering some wiring. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, you know, it's nothing that you can go mess with on a regular you know you touch it oh, yeah. chances are you might actually warp something you know yeah. it's mainly for display oh, now yeah. okay. when i you know i get into the mode of like oh i hit some of the wiring that was a little deep oh, but wow. you really can't tell the wiring sitting right there yeah but you really can't tell <laughs> i'm almost wondering had i done this after i painted it mm -hmm. really. but i think what i need to do and what i'm gonna do mm -hmm. is i'm going to uh do this here. Yeah. I'm gonna actual let it sit for a while once I crazy through it into its back portion. Oh, okay. And then let it kind of like form in the way it's gonna form as much as possible as Play Doh. Mm -hmm. You get me? Yeah, so um, does it have to sit for like a certain amount of time or for like a 24 hour time period or? You know, it, it don't have to. Oh. Because tonight we're gonna do on the rush rush. I'm gonna paint it tonight. Oh, okay. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it, it probably should, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. Yeah. The reason being is because, you know, the drier it is, the, uh, the more the grooves will actually kind of be a little more permanent. Yeah. Or when paint gets down into uh -huh. the actual groove that was carved, yeah. it doesn't, like, fill it in to where you can't even notice the groove. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, um, but again, being that it's fresh, mm -hmm. if the paint decides it wants to... Uh, cover the groove where it's not you know doesn't really indicate there's a fur there yeah then i can always go back around you know and still with soft play-doh i can do a, another carving oh wow i don't too much like to do i mean you know but it takes what it takes you just want to look yeah it's perfect you don't want to just mm -hmm. i think for the most part though um it will actually uh it'll work i think i can color this and it's gonna take me a while to mix the paints anyway oh, okay. <laughs> to be the proper color yeah. for um, his uh, fur tone. And it, you know, we're just gonna take our time on it. Yeah. It's nothing that would normally take me all day. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, we've been doing this for a while with the snappers. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, we're just gonna actually want, we're gonna make sure we get as close as we can to the color of his fur. Mm -hmm. wow. Get this in, man. <laughs> so I was even thinking, Back to my little, you know, my slate spinoff deals here. I was showing earlier with these, uh, these different uh, animal warriors over here. Yeah. I was looking at um, the uh, one of the tigers. I have an extra tiger down there. Oh, okay. And uh, I was thinking about just uh, going ahead and converting him to a bangle. You know, a white bangle. Oh wow! Which is yeah. Cool. Yeah, that'd really. be nice. That'd be nice to mm -hmm. see. Or, would. or add maybe like um, the face. The way his face actually is kind of small. Look at it. Oh, he's at the corner there. You can kind of actually, if you put the right type of spots on, you can pass for a leopard. Yeah. It's not being a Siberian tiger where it's like, damn near got a mane. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a Siberian tiger. You can't mistake that for nothing. <laughs> okay, so. 
Yeah. Okay, so we kind of move in a little bit on this. Mm-hmm. And uh, what I'm going to try to do is get comfortable with it while I'm not holding it too much tail. Well, I, though, though I need to. Okay. That's where I have the base that where I can really get a firm grip to get my car down. Actually, when I think about it, razor blade probably would have made too much thin carving. Yeah. It would have had more of a, but it'll work a little harder to make. Seem like a believable fur. Yeah. 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 Definitely real. <laughs> like definitely real. Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> No, I did yesterday, man. I was at the spot checking out some random toy pools, right? Mm-hmm. And then I uh, looked up and seen the Scooby Doo set, dude. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Fred, Velma, Scoob. Oh, man. Yeah. Daphne. Whole bunch. Wow. I think was missing. Was... Yeah, it was like a couple bucks, like a buck a piece, man. It was cool. Mm. Little collectibles. Um, yeah. Like the real, like, cartoony look, Hanna Barbera. Oh, okay. They got the van, they had the van too? Nah. Oh, okay. That's no that's short of, huh? <laughs> mm. So, Fred managed to have a Scooby snack in his hand, though. I'm gonna make him with one. Oh, wow. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, not Fred, <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm gonna make uh, an attachment for Shaggy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I'm gonna make him hold a cigar. Oh, okay, so it'll be a cigar. We're gonna be holding a cigar. Okay, I was thinking like a bag of Scooby Snacks or something. Yeah. Hold one of them Scooby Snacks, Scooby Snacks. Yeah, but yeah, man. Yeah, but that's, you know what? That's not a bad thing. Yeah. But once I set them up for display, because you know that's where they're going, mm-hmm. I could actually uh, get them with a bag of like a Scooby Snacks, like a, oh, yeah. a little gentleman bag of like cookie crisps or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay, Amazing. I'm not done with the carving, so, which is good. Mm-hmm. Now, if you look at it, it's kind of like I'm forced to touch it in certain areas that's compressing down where I carve. Yeah. And as I'm noticing, basically, as I'm carving, um, the carves are kind of like coming at ease to themselves. They're kind of like uh, filling in and kind of closing back up. Mm-hmm. But not much. Yeah, okay. So just enough to actually... You know, trying to undo what I did if I, if I carved it too wide. Oh, okay. Still believable, still good. Coming in with it. Little simple stuff like this. That is, um. Uh, hit the wire again. Like, want to say, okay, the TLC, they go up to the still a pattern still. Uh, and this is just basically cars indicating the part. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's wow. all we need basically we're not trying to alter and knock out the today and nothing like that we just want to give him his tail back yeah. still part of the cat family yeah. all cats don't have tails or whatever mm-hmm. you know they do at some point oh, even okay. the mates it's just a small tail. i don't think he has much of a tail but right. the cat uh is a source of his balance is in his tail but yeah it affects it different because not all cats have tail. <laughs> okay but uh it, it does work as a as a uh, balancer Wow. Neutralizer and your stance and all that. Oh, nice. Okay, so basically at this point, I'm going to lie down this tail. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's our tail. Oh, wow. Now, I want to kind of like back it in a little bit. I want it too much. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to kind of like let them in a bit. I could actually do it with my finger. But the reason why I do it with the spear again because if I, I can still kind of add a groove to it once I'm packed. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, you know I mean? that's a good idea. So, <clears throat> there it is. Um, mm. I'm going to leave it be like that. Uh huh. This this would be something like if I actually want to replace a piece of wood, too. You know, it looked like it could be a piece of wood. Oh, gotcha. But, <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to sit there. Now, what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm gonna go in for the crazy blue, baby. 
Oh, good to go. Okay. So now we got the glue here. Yeah, first I'm gonna still make sure. Hold on. We got some glue. Mm -hmm. In which we don't. Not in this joker. Oh, uh, okay. Glad I looked. <laughs> Glad I looked. All right. Get out of here. Hold on. Mm. I got more. I got more. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, okay. Yeah. That is more of a newer joint. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Darn it, dude. Mm. I hate mishaps. Oh. Stupid needle fell out. Oh, terrible. And it was very terrible. Are you kidding me? Mm. It's all bad. I can't cover the glue now. Okay, so. Now we gotta act fast. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Know what I'll do? Aha. Uh -huh. I'll take this. Basically, what the reason why you need the covering for that is because you don't want the air to start getting in a crazy glue and start drying it out. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, add some extra play though. Mm -hmm. Fill it up the top until I get ready to use it. Okay, yeah. so now, what I wanna do, make sure this thing right here is actually gonna go inside the insertion because. The place, yeah, there it is, right there. Right there. Look at that. Look at that. Someone's in the itself. Oh, now, I don't want to twist too much. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill this thing up crazy glue. Now, I got to make sure. One thing I got to be careful when you're doing uh, attachment on figures or whatever. Mm -hmm. You fill a hole, for example, with crazy glue. You're going to do some attachment. You want to make sure that the figure's not open on the inside somehow. Uh -huh. that crazy glue can leak to another portion of the body yeah and cause it to stick from the inside we can't pose them <laughs> oh yeah, wow <laughs> i've had that happen wow okay <laughs> and uh annoying man man yeah that's so something we're gonna else do, we're gonna do this here Use this crazy glue it's kind of the newer tube so Think about it, it's tricky, man, because it'll come running out on you. Mm -hmm. So what I'll do, um, poke it here. I just had to stick in poker. Oh, wow. It's actually down here somewhere. I just don't know what happened to it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. I'm going. Okay, so I can do a look and needle or something. Yeah. I need to get it rocking. Hold on. Mm -hmm. We just so we ain't doing that. So this is what I'm gonna do. A little handy dandy. Survival kit. <laughs> I got a little something right here. That's gonna make all that. I know no problem. Yeah. I can just find it. And there it is. Listen with me. Here we go, here we go. So, <laughs> anyway, man. Yeah. Thanks, see, yeah, this is a new tube, see. Oh, okay. It has to be. Oh. Yeah. Um, ah, there we go, see, it's coming out, and it's already. Don't get this on your fingers, which I just did. Mm. It's not a good thing. Not a good thing. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so now. Yeah. Here we go. I'm gonna just let it run a little bit. And the uh this one put this. I don't wanna make I wanna make sure that it's enough. Okay. Now it's enough. Enough. Let me put it back on here. Keep this moist. Keep it air out of it. And now I wanna add this tail. Twist the way I did and twist it back around. Now I don't want to twist too much because you want it at an angle anyway. I kind of want his tail to sit inside of him. Like, I'm not stand up straight. There you go. Oh, okay. So now wow. I was trying to do that without twisting it too much, just taking the detail out of his carving squares fur. Mm -hmm. So right now we're good. Yeah. I'm going to stay here. Of course, I'm, I'm going to brace it. It will dry like this, but. I want to just make sure it stays like this. Right. So we're going to give it a little more detail where I had to grip it a little heavy. Twist it. And, uh... You know, 
Yeah, it has been said that crazy glue does stick pretty quickly, right? Oh, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's the business. Yeah. So we do a double covering. Oh, sheesh. Oh, sheesh. You gotta be kidding me. See, this is what happened. Oh, okay. Twist it and yeah. came off. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now I have to hold it. And, uh, but it's still stick. It's, it's still identifying that it's uh, been glued up. What I want to do ultimately is I want to uh, glue it again because mm -hmm. I'm a little rounded. Um, I was trying to miss his uh, back garment here. But I'm going to glue it again to kind of hold it in place. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to hold it in place, but I'm going to get something to kind of stand up be it uh, support. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But it'll be easier for me to do it like that. Put the cake in between. Back back like that. Okay. Yeah, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm noticing this his tail is kinda still trying to find its way staying still inside. Because mm -hmm. mind you it was a little bigger. Oh okay. So now I'm gonna the whole it go. I'm not gonna I'm gonna add here. The thing about it, it has play in it. Mm -hmm. I stick with it. It it hold. Okay. Yeah. So. Things I'm trying to prevent is holding on to. Give me a favor, buddy. Stick mm -hmm. your hand down from there. Okay. You just pin here. Yeah. I just want to actually hold him up here. Mm -hmm. If I let it go, it's going to be a. Okay. Just want to just give it a shove so I can. Yeah. You take well, yeah, I'm going to be a posture. Let's posture this here. Just tape around the end to get that good grip. Just yeah. stick it in there. You're trying to go up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Deb, jink, jink, it. Hold it up because yeah. it's gonna run out. Okay. Oh yes, sir. There you go. Thank you, sir. You know it. All right, cool. So mm -hmm. there it is. Come out. Damn, I wanna give it a shot. Damn, I wanna give it a shot there. Now what I need to do? I gotta wait for it to dry a little bit right here. Mm -hmm. Because what will happen if it touches his garment? It's gonna make the garment stick to. Yeah, okay. Which would be no problem, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this cape, mm -hmm. put it between his locks here, yeah. mm -hmm. and then stand it. Mm -hmm. This way here, I'm gonna have to use it as a stamp. Stamp for no dent coming off. No, okay. Yeah. So you give it about how many minutes would you say that be ready? This will be ready. <sighs> mm -hmm. Uh, well, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Three, four, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It'll be uh, quite some time. You know, you're looking at a, uh, probably about an hour or two on out before it can actually, oh, wow. for one, be stuck in there real good, where it's, you know, it's still in, it's inside, no doubt, oh, not coming okay. out. And then for the clay dough to dry, mm -hmm. um, basically, uh, that's going to be kind of up in the air. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I wish there was a way that I could apply some kind of heat that would make it kind of tone up. Yeah. Get a little solid. You know, it'd be like ceramic-ish, you know, sense. But I kind of wanted it to be soft. Mm -hmm. I just want this clay dough. It's basically, once I set it up on display, this guy's not going to be cut. And hopefully... What I probably should have did is actually made his tail go down a little bit because once he's actually on this podium, mm -hmm. as you can see here, uh -oh. podium, his feet's here, so his tail probably gonna be a problem. Yeah. yeah. I didn't think about that. <laughs> but we don't want to basically, I think what I'll do is I'll take the tent mm -hmm. and kind of bend it uh, okay. into the wire. Yeah. But I have to bend it right. Uh, and I probably need to do it now, you think? Yeah. Because once it dries, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a nice, yeah, it's going to be a nice scene. <laughs> I may have to re-stick it. Uh, oh, your tail, buddy. <laughs> okay, so maybe, uh, 
Ooh-wee. I guess it's time to do it if we're going to do it, huh? Yeah, that's a tough one. <laughs> you know what's pretty cool about it? Uh, I actually managed to do it. <laughs> oh, baby. Look at that. And then now it's going to, I'm going to have to go back and recarve, of course, because I'm pressing down a little bit. I'm trying to keep it glued in. Yeah. And I'm trying to actually grip it in order to bend it. Mm. And it just needs to be bent enough. Yeah. Where it will work on this platform. Okay, maybe that's good. But now, mind you, I just. I just want to it. But it's all good. Yeah. We got. Oop, oop, oop. Dripping, dripping, dripping. Thank you. Back on here. Back on here. <laughs> and then do the covering. Go yeah. check it out. Here we go. So now we're doing that. We kind of need something to hold it up. Mm. You know what I mean? Not be. Uh, there you go. Wow. Okay. You know, yeah. It works. So, I'm gonna yes. take what we gripped it. We actually held on just a little too long. Mm -hmm. And try to thin it out while we can. Back to basically bring it back. Terms. Thing. Right. With. Okay. Side of his tail here. Bent with the wire, so I just get the carve and just put it back. sticking out like he wants to be in tack mode he's feeling kind of finicky whatever case oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> i didn't think about that his platform wasn't gonna work oh all right yeah wow tail drives sticking out he can't even stand there yeah that's like, oh darn it i have to break it off now yeah for those things maybe you had to wrap it down and around them or it was like in another kind of fashionable kind of way yeah uh -huh. so It's gonna be it's gonna, it's gonna be a challenge. <laughs> oh yeah. You got it. Oh. You know, you, you, you remember that movie uh back in the eighties? Mm. Was it eighties or nineties? Um, Sleepwalk. Stephen King. Uh Sleepwalkers. I, I remember hearing about that movie, wasn't too familiar with it. About yeah. those cat like creatures that were Actually, arch nemesis of cat. Oh, okay. They were the. There's a legend lore, you know. They actually like, like yeah. vampires. They don't eat flesh, eat yeah. blood. They actually prey and live off the virtue of. Oh wow. Young virgin women, but they're cat-like creatures. They stand upright like humans. Oh, okay. Cats are uh, their nemesis, basically. The slight scratch of a cat, they'll flare up in a flame. Wow. In the area where they were scratched. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, cats are like, uh, well, it's like, like I said, they're, they're enemies. And, uh, yeah. get, it's crazy because in the movie Stephen King made mm -hmm. back some time ago, dude, it's like, the cats are crazy. They were like, anytime a sleepwalker actually is in the area, yeah. And they set up residence, yeah. The cats always surround their house. Oh, okay. So if you ever go down and you notice a house in a certain neighborhood, they always got cats in the yard, and it's like, I'm talking about massive cats. Oh, well, like they right. congregate there. Yeah, they always run a house. Sleepwalker mm -hmm. lives there, man. Oh man, <laughs> sleepwalker yeah. lives there. Wow. No, right? Maybe. Beware mm. the sleepwalker. <laughs> See these guys here, kind of look like them. <laughs> yeah. Put you in the mindset of them. Oh, okay. Wow, amazing. Suck the breath out your body. Mm. Got all kind of stuff out there. Man, man, man. So yeah, we got it like here, man. We got it like this. I'm just gonna basically let him sit here, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna let this thing kind of hold his tail up at this angle, and keeps it up, and while it's gluing and it's getting solidly, you know, so it's getting, yeah. <laughs> it's drying. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> so I meant to say, it's drying. <laughs> so, um, I just want to see how long this is gonna play out. Oh, okay. Meanwhile. 
I'm gonna make him a Taz color. <laughs> what I'm thinking of, what I'm thinking, you see how like on his background right here, see how it's kind of white? Yeah. Basically, it's kind of like, um, you know, he's kind of a, a bunch of different shades, maybe like two or three here. Yeah. So I'm, I'm kind of like mixed up about it. I want to make his tail majority the color of his body. Yeah. And maybe as you get close to the tip, kind of whiten it out a little bit on his arms, his underarm here. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. Trying to give a little something, something. I think the tail that I originally had was just um, that one color. Oh, wow. So since we're going to make another one, man, yeah. we're going to make one out. We're going to do something, you know, a little something different. Yeah. We want to do it. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so now, there we go. Mm -hmm. I think you got your eyeballs. All right, so the colors I'm looking for actually are in this container. Oh. But no, nevertheless, I'm going to need a paintbrush. Oh, okay. So, matter of fact, let me use one of these. All right. Mm -hmm. Got the little magnifying mm -hmm. glass here. Oh. See stuff? You know, when you need to see something. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Real nice. Sometimes not. you have to get in on there and be like, hey, man, you know. Mm hmm. <laughs> 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 anyways. From what I can see right now with the naked eye, this this first pretty good. What do you think? Oh, absolutely, yeah. That's, the thing that's is, I just want to make sure it's kind of like I yeah. catch it from all under and every angle. Yeah, it really fits in um, with the rest of the body. Yeah, I think we uh yeah. we good here. Absolutely. Shaw good. Mm -hmm. They dry up a little bit. Now it's starting to feel funny. Yeah. Cause it's starting to feel more like a rubber. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The rubber texture, like, it's actually like a durable type of rubber type of deal. Wow. Yeah. And, uh, what I'm gonna do, mm -hmm. let me see. I'm gonna move this. I got my paintbrushes. We don't need nothing else out of here. Okay. And I'm gonna get my colors. Now, if you look at him, he's, um, probably would slightly have a little bit of this brown mm -hmm. want to say um maybe not so much though so you mainly want to you want to can't talk <laughs> 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 you mainly want to take this white mm -hmm. and uh i think um uh, right there hold on take the color white here and then mix it with um a little black oh wow. you know just a little black giving it this gray yeah and then uh Throw a little of this brown in here, man. Kind of give it a little. Okay, so the black, the gray, and the brown. Like yeah. Mm. And so what we're going to do, actually, um, I'm going here. Yeah. I'm going to get the little paper we're going to mix down on. Wow. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and this is. Hold on. Plan. Got a plan. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. We're gonna use this little piece of deal here to actually, you know, get our paint and stuff right. Oh wow. All right, because I gotta mix it, man. So <laughs> another little handy dandy little use for the twister. Yeah. I need a mixer for my paint. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna twist this up right here. You know what y'all, you all you all out there know about twisting some up. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna twist this up. All right. We're gonna start painting. Okay, so let's do this. Take the um, white. Let me yeah. see. Hold on. More black. And then, uh, you know what? <laughs> We're gonna need some water. Mm. A paint brush. You know what? Mm. We're gonna do it in survival mode. I'm gonna use a number of two paint brushes. Oh, okay. Paint. I can actually dibble to dabble back and forth with water. Mm -hmm. and uh, get it in there but uh we managed to do it oh uh, okay um got it mm. you guys ready all right so do this okay so now wait You got these paints, I always get them on me, man. Mm -hmm. 
Never right. fails. Right. Never fails. I'm gonna do a little right here. Quite a bit. And cover this thing. Oh, okay. The and it's gonna be a starting of like just painting over the tail. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I'm gonna make sure I match the color as close as I can possible to his uh his actual fur coat. So you can see there's a little brown in there. It ain't just gray, you know what I mean? So yeah. I'm off. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna take this black and I may put more than I need, but I can always pull if I need to get more mm. color. Oh man. I'm gonna take this brown. It's like a uh, acrylic. Uh, what color is this? Not actually brown. It's like a espresso. Uh, you know, uh, okay. brown, but espresso. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do this here. Mm -hmm. Now, what I already know is that I want to look more gray. Mm -hmm. You know, so those are gonna be the first two colors to start to make black and the white here so we're gonna mess around like this mm -hmm. you know what i mean because it's already giving us a great look uh -huh. you know just a little bit as we come off the corner and get a little black mixed in we just pull as much as we need to in to get it going for gray now we need to have to actually generate enough paint to paint this entire tail once i get the color down that i want I gotta make sure I stretch this right continuously to pull and mix, generate enough paint to cover the whole tail, but it has to be that color of mixture to make that color. You understand know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, so that color, like on which one did you mix first? The, the, you mix? the uh, what is this, man? Oh, okay, you mixing the black and white. I'm mixing the uh, the black and the uh, the black and the white. Uh, okay, so that's gray. making gray right now. Okay. But you see, as you can clearly see, you see how it's gray here. Yeah. But now you, it really tells the truth on what color is coated mm. because it's not gray. Uh, okay. You see it? Yeah. Sorry. And uh, I got these guys standing right in my way. My mm. bad. So what we what we're saying here is basically Nakaru has a mm -hmm. brown tint to his his color. And uh, you, when you see them, you think great. So oh. That's great. Okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna continue to mix it, right? Mm -hmm. Make it darker. But now I wanna see how this brown's gonna work with this espresso color, mm -hmm. because it's gonna be the deal breaker mm -hmm. as far as actually uh, bringing more of a, you know, hint on. Yeah. Close as we can to it. Now I see those colors in there. Mm -hmm. Now, I want to make sure that's what I'm seeing though. Oh, okay. A little more espresso there in this gray and white. Now we don't know what it's going to look like mm -hmm. ultimately. We may actually take more of a. See, there you go. Mm -hmm. Kind of look more of his. It's believable more like his color. Mm -hmm. If you look right down in this oh, section okay. here. Okay, yeah. A little bit. Now we do that. Yeah. But you can't yeah. see it because a lot of the gray is actually the immediate gray that I had at first is kind of still trying to mix in with it. But I gotta pull the espresso color clear across it. So yeah. I don't mix. I don't want too much more gray in it. And maybe just a little bit will work because one thing's for sure: the espresso will darken it out. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna do so. We want it to be the exact color that he is. All right. And absolutely. I think we're pretty close. Yeah, yeah definitely. Cool. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. You try, man. Yeah, I can see that now. You get the eye in there. You just gotta get in there. Yeah, so that's like, okay, so I'm safe with the color actually that I wanted. I needed for him. Yeah. And once I apply it on, it'll blend. Right, okay. Because I want it to be uh, dead on, maybe just a little darker. We don't want it to be too much lighter than it. Yeah. So. I just want to basically get some more, we'll stay away from the black as much as possible, get some more espresso color, maybe. Wow, so the espresso it's color, I definitely, color. Um, that's yeah. definitely a new one for me. Um, I was going to say, has there ever been any other colors that you've ever, I would say, created, like even just for a particular um, 
oh yeah characters like 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 just regular flesh colors you know just to be able to get a regular common flesh color yeah it's kind of like it's almost difficult because sometimes you can go too pale on it you can go too dark on it it's just so but what, yeah, what would you like um, how, you, how you neutralize them um, flesh colors like um between like but like lionel yeah like you know i mean kind of like a brownish you know uh believable skin to be human uh -huh. you know in a sense uh uh, um, you know, just like in like, certain cat like a, colors, kind of a, like a touch of brown, like any kind of pink, um, or a white, I'm mean, gonna say, no would pink, go with that. Really. I haven't used any pinks yet. No, uh, okay, no, I just mostly because most of well, actually, I have, I did it on one of the garments of an action figure, but that was the garment. Oh, okay, so basically, I was uh, painting um, mm -hmm. clothing. Oh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to actually paint at the tail. Let's uh -huh. kind of get a look, see what it's going to look like in comparison. Oh, okay. Okay, so mm -hmm. that color right there actually may be believable. And see, now, mind you, what you got to keep in mind, mm -hmm. what I've learned is when you're painting is the, once you apply paint onto yeah. a surface that you're painting, mm -hmm. a lot of times when it starts to dry, it gets lighter. Oh, really? Wow. When you actually look like when it was applied. Oh, okay. Now, I'm trying to actually see what it looks like with me painting it after um, I put the uh, grooves and everything in it. Uh -huh. And as you can see, it's probably a good thing that I did. Oh, okay. Because it's, it's going, you know, it's going over pretty well. Oh, wow. It's not fade. It's not actually uh, filling in my uh, my grooves. Mm -hmm. We're like, like not indicating no grooves there or fade. Uh -huh. The fur. Okay. Um, a little bit on his back. But, um. Yeah. It's okay. Mm. Want to actually even come around? Let me see. I got to pivot the whole figure here. You can see not the uh, And you can't see at the base. Basically, I'm painting at the top of his tail now. Mm. Where you. Let me see. Position in here. Target, yeah. Everyone to kind of see. A little more of this, yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah there it is. So that's, good. that's what we're looking at here. <laughs> it's um, <clears throat> it's this tail being painted now from the from the base on up, on down, rather. Uh, so okay. We're gonna go with it. Mm -hmm. Now with the paintbrush being really textured and kind of gentle and soft, I still gotta like realize that I'm not painting on a hard surface like I would like if it was a plastic or something. Yeah, okay. You know. Yeah. I'm painting over this play doh and I'm kind of rushing it actually. I probably should let it dry. Mm -hmm. But what I'm gonna do is let it all dry together. Oh, okay. Hopefully when the paint dries, it'll help dry the play doh out. <laughs> yeah. It's on the exterior. Oh, okay. So I gotta make sure I don't press down too hard. So I'm not painting on no plastic or nothing like that. So mm -hmm. I wanna keep keep it peaceful. Oh, okay. And keep it, uh, yeah. Let me see. Not bad, actually. Wow. Yeah, I see. Mm -hmm. It's actually uh, doing a pretty good job on drawing on its own. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then I think at some point I may need a little water so I can uh, dip my brush in. You know okay. what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. You know what? Yep. I did them make that happen. <laughs> uh. That was a hint, hint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The man. Thank you, Vin. Awesome. Yeah. So, man, mm -hmm. I tell you, guys, are awesome. Yeah. These guys, man. So, yeah, dude. Good to go. This is where we at with it now. <laughs> it, it's for the most part, it's still believable. It looks like I'm gonna have enough paint to cover it, mm -hmm. and it's not gonna be a bad thing. Actually, it looks like I'm gonna get this done oh, wow. in a timely manner. Good to go. And uh, just kind of let it, just, you know what I'm saying, dry out. Yeah. See what it's going to do. But yeah, man, when I get home, mm -hmm. you know, got to get these photos, man. I got to let you guys check out the man cave. Oh, amazing. If you like action figures, if you like collectibles, mm -hmm. I mean, regardless of their sizes, regardless of their genres, whatever it is, anything from Scooby-Doo to the Smurfs to Thundercats, He-Man. Even some of them, uh, the cartoons, man, they used to release out like Dungeons and Dragon and Brave Star and all those things. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah some, you know, some Brave people Star. probably got a lot of a lot of those cartoons. <laughs> oh, a lot of barbarian. Yeah. And, yeah. And I've already seen some some ways I can actually generate that on the 
on a whole kick, a whole nother hook that's just real poppy and oh, absolutely. just really, really knocking right now. You know what I mean? Just actually bring it, bring it in. Yeah. Recreate. Do it. Oh, but baby. Yeah. If you like that stuff, you like my man cake. Yeah. You got figures, 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 and figures, and figures. Mm-hmm. And then, so yeah, I'm going to be bringing a lot of stuff in. Going to keep yeah. doing it. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but for the main part though you need to see it you need wow. to see that yeah, so hopefully we can get the, the photos and get them down for you guys in that community oh yeah that'd be great take some that'd footage great, you know great so we can get it cracking <laughs> we like to yeah. share we like to share but yeah mm. the scale's holding up pretty good but I gotta make sure I don't get comfortable with the weight cause I don't I wanna make sure it's gonna stay inside the blue space oh okay it has to hold because if it doesn't if it comes off yeah. like i said because it's such a small space mm-hmm. it's gonna be hard to actually re-glue and re-glue and re-glue and before you know it we won't be able to get the tail on oh and it's yeah, gonna be hard because even if i find or when i find mm-hmm. the original tail i'm not gonna be able to put it back in there oh wow unless i do some surgery oh okay that makes it requires more work huh more work but yeah you know, done. <laughs> wow. Sounds good. But right now. Okay. Coming up with a tail, man. Yeah, and, um, see, and that's how a tail gets created. Well, you I know, this is that. crazy. You know, the thing is, you know, if I had the plastic, yeah, I would make that. But I don't think it's that bad actually coming with a, a tail with some little, <laughs> little wiring. And yeah, some right. Play-Doh. Yeah. It's pretty cool. So all I have to do now is just make sure it stays in his butt. Yeah. And it doesn't move. <laughs> And yeah. then when he's standing there, he's standing there, it's actually like, okay. Yeah. My tail. Okay. He's like equivalent to his feline brothers and cousins and stuff over here. Yeah. <laughs> the rest of the fam, bam, you know? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh. Be complete. <laughs> Good to go. Oh, yeah, man. Mm. All day long. So, my main thing is, that's a good thing. I look like I had just enough paint to cover his tail. Which is perfect, because that's a dice roll. You don't know a lot of times how much um, paint you really need. Yeah. What I'm guilty of is like getting a bunch of excessive paint. Oh, wow. Know, and find out after you're done with your project, you got so much paint left over. Yeah. It's like, you know, at a barbecue when your clothes are still burning hot, you want to cook something else. Oh, so yeah. Find something to throw this paint on. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm um, start doing some art while I start writing or something like that. Oh, don't let yeah. paint go to waste. But in most cases, I can actually read retube it you know mm-hmm. but in some cases once it's out laid out and paper man it, it ain't going back to oh okay definitely. so yeah wow maybe <laughs> so now i'm have i'm gonna have to let that uh this little uh dependable uh holder for the tail let it go because i need to paint under here as you can see i missed the entire bottom side here yeah. oh wow it's all yeah. white so i have to get under here Get to see, I need to get a good edge, a good angle. Oh, wow. So now, dry a little bit. I can afford to hold them up. Wow. Flipping, stripping, whatever. Oh, okay. And then paint this tail in here. <laughs> so, yeah, we're all good, actually. It's, uh, tail's grooves are actually pretty held, held up pretty good, like I was saying before. Uh, there's some areas where I did not pat down uh, some of the clay that was sticking up but it kind of serves as a realistically bulging fur in a little bit think about it oh wow so right. you know <laughs> so what I'm gonna do here is uh right. the more I actually paint without dipping my brush the, yeah. the um paint gets a little thicker mm-hmm. so I'm gonna thin a bit some water think thin and uh Trying to stretch the paint a little bit of what as far as what I have already on there, kind of like give it a scratch. Oh, wow. okay. So now, see, like, kind of wet a little bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then we're gonna come down here. That's a bit. And not too much, because I don't want to thin it out. Yeah. The way you have to stroke, you have to stroke, you know, give it a stroke more than three often. Oh, you okay. should. And then it kind of, you know, the clay will start molding with the brush. Oh, 
So I'm just kind of lightly glazing over the clay. So the paint through, means not to paint the through. Everything can stay there. Oh. And no soft clay to get on my brush. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So what do you think? Yeah, that's amazing. You can do, you can do this in your sleep. <laughs> you can, man. You yeah. really can. You can do this in your sleep. Okay, yeah. Yeah, dude. Hey. Definitely can see the possibilities of that. Yeah. So that's cool. Absolutely. So this is kind of what it would look like wow. on the top once it's actually uh, dried or whatever. Now, once it dries, like I said, it has the potential to be a little lighter. Yeah. I don't think. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be much lighter. Yeah. But uh, in the case of, you know, we're looking at a. See how it works. Oh, absolutely. Me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now, nice. as he stands, basically he has his tail um, wow. kind of. Anything kind of, you know, it's kind of. Oh yeah, yeah. I think it's believable to be that. Oh, absolutely. And it's um. Wants to dry. No, I think for the most part it is. Mm -hmm. Dry mostly, man. I won't make an attempt to put it in the uh, uh, on yeah. the platform yet so it actually really really dries because uh, nonetheless okay. he's gonna have to stand up as straight as possible yeah so he can actually you know let the tail kind of fall behind him oh wow so yeah kind of mm -hmm. kind of i'm kind of weirded out over here a little bit oh, wow. Blues are already there when you press up again for anything you press up against it. Mm -hmm. Take away from it. But what what saves it is that it's everywhere and it looks like fur anywhere. So mm. Oh no. Ooh, wow. So Amazingly it survived. Amazingly uh, survived the fall. <laughs> because oh, wow. Nakaru's head wanted to pop off. Oh, Ain't wow. that amazing? Amazing. But uh Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, I took out just a little paint. Of course, the paint's not dry yet. Yeah. Stab our brush, give it again. Okay. Go ahead and repair that part right here. No right. harm done. Okay. Put it back. <laughs> Happens, people. But I shouldn't have been holding the head. Well. He lost his head, man. Oh. So, mm -hmm. we're good here, actually. So wow. he will stand on his own mm -hmm. for a minute without his platform uh, in order for all his stuff to dry. Now, hopefully, like I said before, yeah. this paint can dry at the same time this clay will be drying on its own anyway. Maybe the paint being it's externally on clay yeah. it's drying will kind of help it kind of like uh -oh. dry itself too. But the main thing to this now mm -hmm. is I got to make sure this dude stands up on his own two feet without falling over. Oh, because wow. if he does, if he falls back, yeah. uh, it'll be a chance where they all may hold him actually. They hold him up. But uh, what I'm looking at it, I just want to make sure it's, uh, it looks on the camera alone, it looks like it's kind of lighter than what he actually is yeah. in, some, in some angle. Oh. So let's see. Would it be if I took a. Almost look like it goes between the color of his hands and his yeah. and his body though. Wanna let me see. I took I'm gonna set you up this buddy and push up position, buddy. <laughs> so if I took maybe just a little more of this here, fresh. Yeah, well, that might be a good idea. Yeah, it need to be. Maybe mm -hmm. it's a trick. I'll make it here. But see, here's a trick with this too. Mm -hmm. you start adding too many coats of paint. Thick. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty thick. I don't really notice the grooves, but I think you can afford maybe one more. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, what I may want to do is take the pants on, leaning more on the brown side. Where I took right now, actually, a pants leaning more on the gray side. And the reason why I say that yeah. is because the browner I apply it, you're going to see once it starts to all. Mush in, mm. it's gonna gray out anyway. Wow. 
Now, that ask me how I know that. I basically tell by the way I did this paint. Now, this is going to be another coat. Basically, we're just going to run through it. I'm going to highlight it with this color. Oh, okay. Yeah, more brown here. Brown. So we're going to go here. Here. Oh, okay. We're going to try it. You know pretty much touching it up on something. Yeah. With a darker color. Yeah, it's kind of going both ways with it. Be safe. So now we can... Yeah. We can kind of afford to do that because, you know, yeah, absolutely. this is colors. So let's do this. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's a highlight, you know, on the Yeah. But yet, kind of like, spinning off that dust to the actual color of his tail. Yeah. Which it is. Okay. Come up a little bit. But I think we right. kind of do it here, kind of highlight an area. Right. You know, mm -hmm. and you can probably see the difference a little bit. Oh yeah. In what it was. No, mm -hmm. we're not gonna hold them on the head, but yeah. I wanted to. Uh, and it still, it kind of looks like. Yeah. That's more of a. As I spin them around, I see mm -hmm. more of a area where it should be filled in. But see now again, yeah. with bulky paint mm -hmm. and just the bulky, bulkiness of it alone, you know, you can have enough money to go. Yeah, which is okay. Safe. Yeah. Maybe too thin anyway. Yeah. But I think we're good, actually. Uh, once it dries, you're gonna see less of a glossy look. Oh, definitely. So, you know, you can ignore that. It's gonna dry and it's gonna get more of a, mm -hmm. gonna settle, be more of a look. Oh, okay. But there we are. Man, more of this color. Mm -hmm. I wish that was the. I wish there was a way that I could actually give it the rougher edge. Yeah. But nevertheless, it really paint. So oh, once okay. it settles in, it won't look so shiny. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Wow. Still some green. Yeah. I don't want no grooves, no paint grooves left. Oh, uh, okay. It, you know what I'm saying? It actually takes you out. Yeah. It takes away your grooves, uh, tail. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> anyway, we're done here. This. Oh. So, my thing is now, mm -hmm. oh yeah, we'll let him dry like this. Put him in position right here. Okay. That. Yeah. I would have something hold it, but then it would uh, cancel by rubbing off paint. Mm. Um, uh, it, um, mm -hmm. So I was thinking, about like the white tip. Mm -hmm. We have to come off. It doesn't be too white. It's gonna be a little bit glow. I don't want to mix it in. Yeah. Some of uh, the gray already. Oh, okay. But then going to that, gotta be going backwards on the. Wait a minute. Come on, dude. Get, the... <laughs> Get into a huddle. So we're good here. Oh, awesome. So it was actually in football position. Mm -hmm. Getting ready to <laughs> tail dry. There it is. 
Wow. And there it is, back to you. Uh, well, that's to how you aware. can create uh, something. The paint can actually uh, be more of a yeah. dry look, but get in there. By some simple wiring and painting. Nice. Oh, that's man. real nice. I think it's cool, but I oh, also see where yeah. Yeah, that's just me. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's gonna be better. I just wait. Basically, I'm making a little improv right now. Oh, the same, yeah. You do the same thing. So, you know, those of you out there, they got, you know, projects that you're working on, you know, little different things. You know, you could see how you could aid oh, in placing a part or, you know, just, just coming up with something. You know, if you want to fix something, yeah. you can do it, you know. Oh, absolutely. Have something to fix, you know. Yeah. And, you know, you can do it. You can actually do your own thing. Oh, uh, totally. You can look the way you want it to look, you know. Oh yeah. I um mm -hmm. about to get real creative one day you know, uh, with this right here and put some uh, like some bands around with some spikes. Yeah. Wow. And I put one right here, right at the base of it. Wow. But at this point, I just kind of wanted to recover tail. Yeah. Give it something. Cause, I mean, I just I was so upset when I seen his tail was gone. I was like, no. <laughs> so wow. you know, yeah, man. Yeah. So see now, see this is what I'm talking about. See all this paint. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So now paint. we got to write on your shirt, man. To actually get to make it useful, you know. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, so, yeah, dude. there you have it, Realm of the Claw. So Absolutely. what we're gonna do here? You know, if you look at this platform and not where it belongs to, you think there's another mm. portion that goes on alongside of it to actually complete this fall here. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it isn't, actually. Oh. It just is. Wow. It just be a little more smoother, but then again, you never know. Yeah. See, that's where I come in. You know, see, I'm making the lion figure, right? And then his platform is the other half of it. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So there we go. Wow. Now we're gonna take the time actually let that dry. Mm -hmm. Not crazy doing everything together, but yeah. Wow. So uh, yeah. thinking about I want to unbox these barrels mm -hmm. to actually make them into something. Yeah. But until I really figure out what that's gonna be, they're gonna stay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, we already unboxed my home today. Mm -hmm. His uh, saber teeth. Oh, absolutely. It's tight, man. Notice his arms is like longer. Most people just like a beast. Yeah. <laughs> He's a beast. Yeah. I'm so glad they have found him. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's online, man. It's like, yeah. like in the pack. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah. We're good to go. Amazing. Well, mm. people, you've been great. Hope you enjoyed the show. So I'll wait we so. got more to come. Uh, we're not done here. Mm -hmm. Tonight was just a little uh, creative mishap, which is pretty good. It was good for me to actually get into the groove and uh, use a little Play-Doh wiring uh, and some paint. And, you know, come up with a little something yeah. that, uh, you know, visually looks acceptable, you know. Mm -hmm. and, um, Amazing. It's pretty cool, actually. Um, never done it before. We did it tonight. Hey, first time for everything. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Good to go. No, hell. no, 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 it's less good. <laughs> it's all good. Hey, but thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you guys around. Stay tuned. All right.